Student's Book, page 52. 7. The Grey Cloud I was on a long, boring train ride with my aunt. I looked out of the window at the rain. The countryside looked grey and cold. Tell me a story, Aunt Claire, I said. One about the rain. All right, she said. This is the story she told me. There was a small cloud in the sky above the apartment where Lily lived. Sometimes the cloud got angry because the wind was too strong or because it was alone in the sky. When the cloud got really angry, it got slowly bigger and grayer. Its gray color fell onto the roof of Lily's apartment building. It also fell into Lily's roof garden, and when Lily went outside to skip, she couldn't see the red and yellow flowers there. She could only see gray ones. Lily often got angry then, too. Sometimes, the cloud wasn't only angry, it got really sad. When the cloud felt really angry and sad, it felt worse, and it cried, and its wet rain fell on Lily's windows and balcony. Lily didn't like being wet. She couldn't go outside and dance on the garden table because she didn't like getting her head, neck, and shoulders wet. Lily often got angry and sad then too. Sometimes, the cloud wasn't only angry and sad, it often got frightened. When the cloud felt frightened, it felt colder. Then, its snow fell quietly on the ground and rocks, and on the mountains behind Lily's home, and water changed to ice. Walking in the snow and on the ice was difficult and dangerous. Lily often got angry, sad, and frightened then too. Monday wasn't a good day. The cloud was huge and very grey. Lily couldn't see any light from the sun. She couldn't see her feet on the ground. And at night, Lily couldn't see any light from the moon or stars. Tuesday and Wednesday were worse. Nothing was different. On Thursday morning, when Lily got up and saw no light outside again, she thought, I've got to do something about this. She climbed up the stairs to the roof garden. Cloud! Lily called from the top of the roof. This is the worst day of my week. I love looking at you when you were small and white, and when you skip and dance and climb in the wind. But why are you huge and so grey now? What is the matter? The cloud started to cry. The wind is strong, and I am weak, and I have no friends, cried the cloud. That makes me angry and sad, and I get bigger and grayer. I feel worse and worse, and then my rain falls. Oh, dear, said Lily. And sometimes I get frightened because I have no friends. When I feel frightened, I get really cold and my snow falls, added the cloud. Well, shall I be your best friend today? I know I can make you feel better again, stronger too, Lily said to the cloud and started to skip along the roof garden. And when you feel happy again, I can be happier too, she said. Come on, let's skip. 
Lily took off her coat and started to skip around the gray flowers, and the cloud slowly started to skip around the sun. That's better, but more quickly, more quickly," laughed Lily. "Come on, my friend, now let's dance." Lily jumped up onto the table, waved her arms around, and started to dance. And the clouds slowly started to dance in the wind. Fantastic! <laughs> laughed Lily. Now come on, are you feeling better or worse? Better, said the cloud. Great. Then now let's climb. Lily started to climb her favorite rock. And the cloud started to climb in the sky. Higher, higher! Lily called. And when the cloud skipped and danced and climbed with Lily, its color changed from gray to white, and a beautiful rainbow appeared in the sky. The cloud was happy again, and Lily couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> That's better. But it wasn't always like that. On some days of the year, the clouds' rain and snow fell because it felt angry or sad or frightened again. Lily understood that. We can't always feel happy, Aunt Claire said. But skipping. Dancing and climbing and laughing and playing with really good friends can always help us feel better again. Now pick up your bag. Here's our station. <laughs>